Now, the National Democratic Congress and its former Deputy General Secretary Koku Anyudoho today held separate ceremonies to commemorate the eighth anniversary of the death of former President John Evans Atta Mills. Koku Chief Executive Officer of the Atta Mills Institute, left the Asumdri Park after his event. Former President Rawlings had also visited earlier to pay his last respects. So that was a separate incident. At the event organized by the NDC, however, former President John Mahama continued the fight for peace and unity in Ghana. We are here at Asumdri Park for the commemoration of the 8th anniversary of the passing of um, Professor John uh, Evans Atta Mills. Well, earlier, um, the Atta Mills Institute um, organized the commemorative event here. It was also a writ laying ceremony. So in the background, you can see um, a writ from the Atta Mills Institute. His Excellency President Ananar Danko Akufo and the people of Ghana, and then a writ also, you know, from the family. Um, earlier, uh, we had um, the former president of Ghana, Jerry John Rawlings, he was here. He did not lay a writ, he just put um, flowers on the tombstone, and that flower is actually um, still um, there. And we've been speaking to the chief executive of the Atamos Institute. Um, he has been going around together with the chief executive of the Coastal Development Authority. We are told um, that there will be renovation of this, um, this place um, to honor the memory of Professor John Evans Atamo. So what we witnessed was a short um, cotton ceremony um, for the renovation of, of this park, one that befits the memory of Professor um, John um, Evans. Um, we can hear from Koko Anido, who is the Chief Executive Officer of the Atamos Institute. I worked for a good man. He had faith in me. I wasn't jobless, I wasn't homeless. I come from a good home, good background, good education. I had skill, I had talent. God gave me. Those noticed my skills, noticed my talent, and decided that he was going to use it to the best of his ability. I'm not saying I'm faultless. He was a father. So he kept me, he taught me. We ran a campaign, we won an election. We had a vision, we had a direction, we had dreams for this nation. Somehow, God, but in the book of, in the Bible, when Moses had to go, Joshua was told to get up and take the mantle. Maybe I've been behaving like a, a Jonah for so long, running away from what destiny has for me. I've ended up in the bellies of whales and I've ended up in the bottom of ships. I've been vomited on seashores, and now I accept my destiny. I have a duty and a role to perform in this country via the Atamus Institute, and I'll do it for God's kingdom to be established. Quite a number of NDC bigwigs um, attended today's event. There was a first event organized by the Atamus Institute, headed by its chief executive officer, Koku Anidoho. After that ceremony, another ceremony, which was this time organized by the NDC, happened here. President Mahama, who has been speaking, pledged his commitment um, to ensure the unity of this country. I stand today before the tomb that holds the mortal remains of the Asumjehene, the King of Peace. And I pledge that I'll continue his fight for the peace and unity of this country. May his peace and grace guide us as a nation. May his peace and grace guide us as a party to the victory we so desire in the elections of December 2020. So that as a party and as a leadership, we shall restore to this country the peace and unity we once enjoyed. And so that we may, as a leadership and a party, put back to work the many thousands of people who have lost their jobs under this government. So that we may as a party and leadership, relieve Ghanaians of the excruciating hardship 
that they currently face. The chairman of the NDC, Samuel Oposo Ampofo, speaking at today's event, he says at a time that we've witnessed a lot of violence during the voter expression exercise, we need someone like the late President Mills to calm the tension. In this moment of real challenges in which there is widespread violence and lawlessness just because we are writing on order to be able to cast our votes. John Evans Atamels, the peacemaker. John Atamels, the Prince of Peace, is who we need to calm the waters. But alas, he's no more going to join the hallowed ancestors who spend their lives and employ their strength to build a country that we are all proud, and we are all so proud to call our own. As we congregate here this morning to participate in this annual ritual, let us never forget what he stood for and what he I've also been speaking to member of parliament and NDC member Milan Tevanderpoor and what he makes of the violence that has characterized um, this Exercise. President George Ramani Mama made it clear that the president we are celebrating today live for peace, live for unity, and live for one Ghana. But today we are all witnesses to the forms of violence, brutalities, impunity that is going on in the country. We are all witness the fact that the laws in the country now are specially made for some people and not for others. Ghana is no more a united country. Ghana is so unlike we have during the time of Professor Anta Mills. So it is my, my, my feeling that as we celebrate him today, all of us will rock and and remember what he stood for and decide to vote for somebody who will at least know what Presa Mills stood for and how he built this country. That report, eight years on, may his gentle soul rest in peace.